be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is new stuff, good stuff. You also have Marvel Buys the Alien Franchise. And scroll down to watch one of my favorite videos, like Fred's Comic Book Hall, y'all, which is a dedication to my homeboy, Mark Walters. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you later. Peace. I had to stop and refuel some old southern, nasty, greasy, heart attack, very crunchy, very good chicken wings. Oh yeah. About to tear them up. Jeez. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, uh, Channel's Fred Hall Direct Edition. And today, we're going to be reviewing... The Diamond Select Disney Store exclusive Thor figure. So, before we review this, let's just take a look at some of the Diamond Select statues that I have. This is two of them. This is the Hulk Buster with a little bit of lettuce. Allow my six fingers to interrupt the video. And you know, you have the Iron Man. I think this is from Endgame. You know, pretty cool. I like these statues, you know, they're, they're a little bit more cheaper than, a lot more cheaper than sideshows, and they hold their own. This dude is stupid heavy. I mean, really heavy. But yeah, and that's why Diamond Select should sponsor my channel. But you know why we came here? Let's get into some action figures. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Let's Buy Kimmy. Cooking KD, who just got a food truck called Jam Walk in Miami, and who's been missing? My fake Darth Maul from China. All right, so you know how we do. Let's get into some f action figures. And boom, here he is all lit up in his glory. This is uh, Loki with Kid Loki. They just released this probably like uh, a couple weeks ago. I don't even think it's been a month. But this is a Disney Store exclusive. So if you don't go to the Disney Store, you actually have to order him online, um, which is pretty cool. So as soon as I saw him, he popped across Facebook because, you know, they know what ads and whatnot that you would like. Uh, I definitely fell in love with this figure and I had to get it because, you know, I have over 30. Uh, I probably think I'm at for like 40 Marvel Selects now on the wall in the um, second part of the dungeon. But I thought it's pretty cool. This is Loki, and he comes with, I guess, Kid Loki. And he comes he comes with the staff from the movie, uh, a little dagger, also a, a, a sword. And I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this. So, got to be uh, fairly new. A lot of people don't really know about this. Um, I'm digging the mesh green um, inside his coat. I'm digging the coat. I wonder, is it removable? No, nah, it's not removable. The boots... This figure, I didn't really get a chance to really look at it. Uh, but yeah, Marvel did that thing. They didn't They didn't go cheap on this figure. Look at the menacing grin. It's not quite Tom Hiddleston. That's more of your vote for Loki comic book. And then you got Kid Loki. Definitely had to pick it up because it came with a second figure. But I'm digging the boots. I'm digging the, sh the, the sheaves on the boots, I think that's called. I'm digging the crown on the kid, Loki. The uh, eyes are a little spacey, but he has that. No, the eyes are perfect. He has a little menacing grin. He actually looks like a Disney uh, prince. I'm digging the black fingernails. It's very awesome. Uh, interchangeable sleeves. I don't know why. What else do we have in there? Look at Ben Grimm back there. I have him. Um, he's stupid heavy. But yeah, I'm really digging the Loki. Look at his weapons. Got a dagger, got a sword. 
Sidorak, I think. Let's look at the side art, which is always cool. So the, the newer selects are actually smaller in the box size. The box size used to be a little bit more heftier, but I guess they slimmed them down a little bit. Shout out Slim Comics. He's always a good guy in the community, always commenting and staying on top of everybody. Hope you're in good health, Slim. I also hope, hope you're in good health too, uh, Big Brother Rick, Rick and Mortis. You guys always got me worried. You know, I pray for you guys a lot. But yeah, there's Loki and all his Loki-ness with his crown product shot. If you look very closely, you can see the comic books in the background, which is, in, is inspired off of. We don't really have a synopsis for him. Usually we have a synopsis like, hey, this is the Lord of Mischief and blah, blah, blah. I don't see it. Nice. You know, your diamond select boxes are never going to come in pristine condition. Unless if you get them straight off the toy line. They're always going to have like a little bend or a little fold to them. Always. But I'm really, really digging this. Can't wait to put them next to Thor. I need to get some more Thors for the, for the dungeon. I'm trying to see if I can uh, get a date on it. I don't see a date so far. But I know, like I said, this product was just released because it popped across my screen and I waited two weeks. I was like, definitely I had to have it. It says 2020, but I know it came out in 21. So what you guys think about it? I think it's awesome. Very cool. All right. So if you're a Loki fan or if you're a Diamond Select fan, uh, you definitely have to have this in collection. And I'm trying not to go ham on my Diamond Selects because I'm after the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. But uh, yeah, I might have to go ham on my Diamond Selects and get a lot more for the wall. But like as my boy Samuel Trejo said, I'm running out of room for the wall. All right, let's do this wrap up. If you're uh, concerned about the contest, stay tuned right now, okay? Because we're going to do who's, uh, we're going to, Say who's in the contest, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the contest this Sunday. So let's do this. Take it away, Big Fred. And so I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Where's the wisdom? Focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. I pray that everything you do be successful. And I always pray that you guys' channel grow and you're happy in life. And um, the names I have for the contest right now is uh, Big Brother Rig, Rig Mortis, Slim's Comics, Bub's Comics, D from Simply Incredible Podcast, Gray Man, What's Up Mate, Blucker's Videos, uh, Metarog, and Dave's Dungeons. So if there's anybody else, go ahead and let me know because this Sunday we're going to go ahead and finish up the contest and we're going to see who's the winners of the, of the four prizes. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you later. What a cool figure. Peace.